Running a food bank in the basement of a Denver church sounds like destiny. I see a lot happening. To Eden Armendaris. She's a top lady, boy. <laughs> Eden directs the food pantry at Redeeming Love Fellowship Church, though it almost didn't happen. I was told you will be running the food banks of this pantry. And I said, no, I'm going to Hollywood Legends. I'm going dancing. She never went. And 20 years later, she dances around frustrations of trying to feed hundreds of families each month. Tears, crying, happy, sad, mad, kicking the boxes. <laughs> There may be boxes to kick, but Eden says not nearly enough. It's been a challenge. I'm coming into barriers and facing barriers that I never thought I would ever see. And I am seeing it today. When she reaches out to organizations looking for food. These should be full. She says less than half the choices are available now. Well, it's empty. Compared to before the pandemic. I am very worried. At this time, I should have every refrigerator, every freezer should be full. We are getting to, ready to feed approximately anywhere from 700 to 1,000 households, and my freezers are empty. Client and volunteer. I used to come and feed the kids uh, lunch. Margaret Saletto says a food bank without enough food is a serious problem. I'm getting scared myself because I have four adopted children they're my gra biological grandkids, and they live with me. I get one check, and I'm serving eight people in my house. I'm trying to will and deal food, understand, you know, where where is this food? How much more can I have? What product has been received? With the cold weather approaching, they say more families are in need and relying on this food bank. Without this kitchen, I don't think a lot of people around here would make it. But what I can do is, you know what, I can put a box together, make sure these families get fed, because I'm getting calls left and right. All these people have COVID. If there's anybody that can find food for the hungry. They get so excited, it just breaks my heart to see them little kids. Perhaps it is destiny that it's someone named Eden. She always tells me to, my name is Eden. Eden. <laughs> Here I am, Eden, and I'm telling people, eat, eat, eat. She definitely makes sure we're eating. As long as more donations come in, so Eden can make sure this garden is full. If I've ever seen a year that we need to come together as a whole, this is the year to come together. In Denver, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.